Hi, everyone. So today we're going to start off with the new chapter called Matrices and Matrix Operations. Okay, so we're introducing this new mathematical object called a matrix, and we're going to be seeing what we can do with them. So there's certain operations that you can do with matrices. So we can take two matrices, we can add them, we can subtract them, we can multiply them, um, and so on. So they kind of behave like numbers, uh, but not quite. And we'll see that this little difference um, is quite interesting and important. Okay, so matrices and matrix operations. Okay, so before we looked at the augmented matrix, and I said that was just the organization of the coefficients into rows and columns, right? We made this thing called an augmented matrix. Now, a matrix without augmented um, is very similar, but there's more things that we can do with a matrix than we can do with an augmented matrix. Okay, so firstly, what is a matrix? So a matrix is a collection of numbers. Arranged in a table, if you want to think of it like that. A table where the entries are in rows and columns. Okay, so we're going to refer to a matrix by its rows and columns. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. Okay, so we can have um, the following, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we use the square brackets, just like how we use with augmented matrices, but there's no vertical line. So this isn't associated with any um, set of equations or anything, it's just the entries. Okay, so there's no equations yet. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. So going down, we call those the rows. So those are the rows. So one, two, that's row one. And then we've got here, uh, sorry, uh, we've got here three, four. That's going to be row number two. It's the second row. Okay, and if we look vertically, those are the columns. Okay, um, and for shorthand, uh, you'll see this is written as C-O-L-S. Okay, so those are the columns. So we see that the first column is one, three. That's the first column there. And then the second column is two, four. Okay, that's the, the second one. Okay, and then given a particular row and column, the, the element there is called the entry. So we have the matrix entries. For example, this two, so two is at row one, and column two. So first row, second column, we've got a two. Uh, three, so three over there, is at row two and column one. We've got ourselves a three. Yeah, and then we can do the same for the other entries. So the one, that one entry, that's going to be at row one, column one. And the four, that's going to be at row two, column two. Yeah, that's how we identify the elements of a matrix. Okay, so we identify the elements by their row and column. Okay, so this is an example of a two by two matrix because there's two rows and two columns. 
we can also get other sizes of matrix, as we say. So the size of a matrix is given by the number of rows and the number of columns. Okay, so this one uh, we say is a two by two. Um, and we write the following here. So the size is equal to number of rows. And then we just put an X and then the number of columns. Okay, so we don't actually multiply them. It's just the symbol X that we use okay, to say rows by columns. Uh, for example, if we have, let's say M is equal to one, two, three, zero minus one, four, for example, this matrix has two rows and three columns. So the size of M is two rows, you put the X and three columns. So we say it's a two by three matrix. So M is a two bar three, or you can say two cross three matrix. Okay, so that's how you would um, say it to someone. If you've got a matrix, you say yours is a two bar three matrix, or you could have a five bar three matrix or something like that. Okay, um, another example. Uh, let's say we've got the matrix N, it's given by one, uh, zero, minus one, for example. So this uh, would be a one by three matrix. So the size of N, there is only one row. So it's one row and there are three columns. So it's a one by three. Okay, so you always look at the number of rows and the number of columns, and that gives you the size of the matrix. Okay, um, any questions so far? Okay, um, so that's about it for what a matrix is. It's just a table of numbers, certain number of rows, certain number of columns, and we call that the size. Um, let's look at some of the matrix operations that we can do. Matrix operations. Okay, so the first one is matrix addition or subtraction. Okay, now the key thing is to remember, so a big exclamation mark, you can only add or subtract matrices, sorry, matrices of the same size. So if I have a matrix A and a matrix B, if they are the same size, then we can add them. If they are different sizes, then we cannot add them. Okay, so let's have a look at an example. Example, let's say A is a two by two matrix, one, zero, two, one. B is another two by two matrix, Three, one, one, three. Now we see that both of them are the same size. This is a two by two, and this is a two by two, which means we can add them. Okay, so how do we add them? We add them with each entry. So the row one, column one of A, we add to row one, column one of B. 
So the one and the three, we add those two together. Yes, yeah, so we look at each entry. Then row one, column two, that's a zero. We add that to row one, column two of B, that's a one. And we do the same thing for all the other entries. We add them like that. So A plus B, so matrix A plus matrix B is a new matrix of the same size. So it's two by two. And it's going to be one plus three, that's going to be four. Zero plus one, that's going to be one. Two plus one, that's going to be three. One plus three, that's going to be four. So this is the resulting matrix after addition. Okay, uh, we can do another example. Okay, so let's say A is one, two, three, zero, one, zero, and B is zero, 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 one, 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 for example. Okay, we wanna add them. The first thing we need to do is check that the sizes match. The size of A is two by three. The size of B is two by three. Okay, so the sizes match, we can add them. So A plus B is equal to, the resulting matrix is going to be the same size. Okay, so it's going to be a two by three matrix as well. And again, we add them per entry. So we add the first entries like that the next one like that, and then we can add them like that. And we do the same for all of the entries. So in this case, one plus zero, that's one, two plus zero, that's two, three plus zero, that's three. Uh, and then we look at the next row, zero plus one, that's one, one plus one, that's two, zero plus one, that's one. So we get the following matrix. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, um, so that's for addition. We can do the same thing for subtraction. Okay, we just subtract the entries in that case. Okay, so let's look at the next operation, scalar multiplication. So for scalar multiplication, what we're going to do is take our matrix and multiply it by some real number, okay? So given a matrix A and a real number K, we can calculate K times A. So a real number times a matrix. Okay, so let's do this by example. Okay, so let's say K is equal to two and A is equal to one, zero, three, two, four, three. Okay, so K is a real number and A is A two by three matrix, two by three. So we want to calculate Ka. So what we do is we take this real number and we multiply it onto every entry of A. So Ka is equal, is equal to two times the matrix, one, zero, three, two, four, three, and we multiply this two onto each element of the matrix. So it's gonna be two times one, two times zero, two times three, two times two, two times four, two times three. So again, it's still a two by three matrix. We haven't changed the size at all. 
So here we're going to get two, zero, six, four, eight, six. That's our new um, matrix. So once again, we take this two and we multiply it onto every element like that. And we get our scalar multiplied matrix. Okay, um, any questions on that? Okay, uh, next operation after scalar multiplication is matrix multiplication. Okay, so given a matrix A, and a matrix B, we can calculate a B. Okay, that is the multiplication of A times B. Okay, however, there's a very important rule that we need to follow. There is a SARS matching rule that we need to follow. Okay, so what is this SARS matching rule? Well, we need to look at the SARS of A. So, A, let's say, is a M by N matrix, and B is a P by Q matrix. Okay, so what does that mean? So A has M rows and N columns. B has P rows and Q columns. Okay, those are the respective sizes of the matrix, of the, of the matrices. What the size matching rule says is that the number of columns of A must match the number of rows of B. So the number of columns of A must match the number of rows of B. That is the size matching rule. Okay, we need to check this before we can do any calculations. Okay, so let's look at a, an example. So A, let's say is one, two, three, four. And B is one minus one. Okay, something simple. So what's the size of A? It's a two by two. What's the size of B? It's a two by one. Okay, so those are our two matrices. Let's check the size matching rule. A is a two by two. We're interested in the number of columns. So let's highlight that. B is a two by one. We're interested in the number of rows. Let's highlight that. Okay, they match, right? So the, the N from A matches the P from B. Uh, so that means we can perform this matrix multiplication. So we want to calculate A B, uh, like that. Okay, so this means we put down the first matrix, one, two, three, four. Put down the second matrix, one minus one. And we wanna calculate the new matrix. 
Okay, so how do we calculate the new matrix? Well, first we need to know its size. The size of the new matrix is given by the number of rows of A and the number of columns of B. So the resulting matrix is going to be a two by one. Okay, so it's a two by one. Um, Should make a little space here. Okay, two rows, one column. How do we work out what this is going to be? Okay, so what we do is we take the row of A. Okay, so the first row of A and the first column of B. So that's this here. We're going to do an operation between those two, and that's going to give us this entry here in the product. Okay, so the one one entry in AB. Okay, so row one, column one in the product is found. by taking the dot product okay, the dot product of row one, this one here, row one from A and column one from B. Okay, so if you want to find the one one entry in the product, we take the dot product of row one from A and column one from B. Okay, so what is the dot product? Okay, so how do we find that? The dot product is going to be the following. So we take this first entry here and this first entry here, we multiply them. So it's going to be one times one plus. We take the next entry here and the next entry here and we multiply them. So it's going to be plus two times minus one. And we add up the results. So one times one is one plus minus two. So one minus two is minus one. That's our answer for this. And we do the same thing for the next entry. So the two comma one entry is found by taking row two from A and column one from B. So let's do that. Okay, so let's just erase this. So we got one comma two at the top. Um, and one minus one here. Okay, and we're done with that there. Okay, so we want to find the two one entry for the product. So we're going to take the second row from A and we're going to take the dot product with the first column of B, like that. And how do we take the dot product? Well, we look at the elements. We've got three and one, we multiply them. So it's going to be three times one plus, we look at the next one, so that's four and minus one, we multiply them. So it's three times one plus four times minus one. So that's going to be three minus four, that's also minus one. So that's the result of the product. Okay, so we take the dot product of the associated rows and columns. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, so let's say A is equal to, um, let's do a two by two multiplied by another two by two. So let's say we have one, one, zero, one, and B is given by one, two, three, um, one, two, three, one, something like that. Okay, we want to find the product A times B. 
So A times B. We've got matrix A, 1, 1, 0, 1. Times B is 1, 2, 3, 1. We want to find the products. Now, this already satisfies the size matching rule. And we know that the resulting matrix is going to be 2 by 2. Because A was 2 by 2. B was 2 by 2. We know that the inside parts here, so 2 and 2, they match. So we can multiply them. The resulting matrix is going to have the size 2 by 2. Okay, so it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix in the end. Okay, how do we calculate the entries? Let's look at the 1, 1 entry over there. Uh, let's put a square. So what is the 1, 1 entry going to be? That's going to be the dot product of the first row of A with the first column of B. First row of A, dot product with the first column of B. So how do we do that? We look at the entries, we multiply them, and add up the total. So we're going to get 1 times 1 plus 1 times 3. That's our first bit there. Now let's make some more space. Okay, let's look at the next one. We are looking for the one, two entry. That's gonna go here. So that means the first row of A dot product with the second column of B, because this is one comma two, goes there. So that's going to be the first row of A dot product with the second column of B. That gives us the entry one comma two. Okay, so what's that going to be? Okay, we take the dot product, one times two plus one times one. Okay, good. Next one. The next entry we need to find is two comma one. Okay, that's the two comma one entry in the bottom left. So we're going to take the second row of A dot product with the first column of B. Okay, second row of A, first column of B, we take the dot product. 0 times 1 plus 1 times 3. And that's it. Last entry is the 2 comma 2 entry. The second row, second column. Okay, so what do we do? We're looking for the second row of A dot product with the second column of B. Okay, let's do the dot product. We're going to get zero times two plus one times one. Okay, and that's it for the dot product. So now we can just simplify these sums. So one times one is one plus three, that's going to be four. One times two is two plus one, that's going to be three. Zero times one is zero, plus three, that's going to be three. Zero times two is zero, plus one, that's going to be one. So this is the resulting matrix AB. Now, uh, homework problem. Okay, so we're going to use the same matrices, um, A and B. A equals 1, 1, 0, 1. And B equals 1, 2, 3, 1. Like that. Now, these already satisfy the size matching rule. So we can go A times B. 
However, we can also find B times A because that also um, satisfies the size matching rule. So we've already calculated A times B. Now calculate B times A. Calculate the reverse here. Okay, so we've already got A times B. Now calculate B times A. What do you notice? Okay, there's something um, important that you need to see with regards to the order of multiplication. So um, take a look at this calculation, uh, see what you notice, and you'll see um, that the order of multiplication is important. Okay. Um, so calculate this B times A for homework, uh, and then you'll see why this order of multiplication is important. Okay, so that is um, homework one, um, and then homework two. A equals one zero three two one one minus one zero three. B equals yeah, sorry. So this is a three bar three, three bar two, uh, one zero. One minus one, three, four. Okay, so we first check the size matching rule. So we've got a three and a three that works out. So the resulting matrix will be a three by two because we've got this, the three and the two. So calculate a. B. Okay, so that's the second part of the homework. Um, notice if we swap this around, what do we get? So if we look at B, A, so in this case, we've got one, zero, one, minus one, three, four for B. And for A, we've got one, zero, three, two, one, one, minus one, zero, three. So for B, this is a three by two. And for A, this is a three by three. Notice this does not satisfy the size matching rule. Okay, because the two and the three, they don't match. So we can't multiply. So this is 2.1, 2.2. Explain why the size matching rule needs to be done before the calculation. Okay, um, so that is the homework for today. So um, number one, there's A and B, calculate B times A, um, and just explain what you notice. And number two, here's A and B, calculate A times B, and then explain why you can't do B times A. So this B times A, that can't be done. So um, explain why we need the size matching rule here. Okay, something doesn't work if the size matching rule is not followed. Okay, um, are there any questions about what we've done so far? Okay, so we've done 
if we just go back up here, uh, with matrices, we can do addition and subtraction with matrices. Um, and so far, we've looked at matrix multiplication. Um, however, we've still got a bit of work before we can do matrix division. Okay, so for now, we can only do matrix multiplication, uh, provided we follow the size matching rule. In the next lecture, we will look at matrix division and why we can only do that with certain matrices. We can't do that with, with all of them. Okay, so that's going to be um, in the next lecture. So uh, number four, matrix division uh, will be done next time. Okay, um, if you do want to get ahead with the notes, uh, this matrix division uh, falls under the section of inverse of a matrix. Yeah, so if you want to get ahead, you can have a look at that. Okay, so tomorrow we will be going through the tutorial. Okay, so we've got the same tutors from last semester. They'll go through that with you. Uh, remember that it's going to be on tutorial two. Okay, so last week was tutorial one, uh, one and two that you had to do. So this week, uh, you can ask questions from tutorial one or tutorial two. Okay, and then that will be on Tuesday. Okay, and then you have the uh, summative quiz to do at the end of the tutorial session. Okay, if you want to know the exact times, uh, please have a look on Learn 2022. It shows when all of the um, assessments are open and, um, um, and when they close. Okay, uh, any questions about what we covered today? Okay, um, so at around five o'clock today, I will look at the homework submissions um, and then give the bonus marks to uh, the first one who submits the fully correct solution. And then that bonus mark will count towards uh, this next summative assessment. Okay, uh, if you do have any questions later on, please just let me know on the WhatsApp group or you can send me an email. Okay, now I'll see you in the tutorial sessions. Bye everyone.